has been one year since I posted my original Hydro review video. So if you wanna know, do I still use my Hydro? And if you wanna know four things that have changed my opinion of the Hydro in the last year, then you're gonna want to watch till the end of this video to really know what is going on with Hydro today. So my first complaint that I had about the Hydro, I talked about here, they don't have just a completely manual rowing option. This was kind of mind boggling to me. I did not understand why there was no manual row option on the Hydro, but my friends, there is now a manual row option, almost. So they call this a distance row, and it's basically, I think, the closest that we're going to get to a manual row option. And I think in some ways it's kind of better than a manual row option, because at least you still get to look at the nice scenery. But basically this is like an uninstructed row, so there's no instructor, but you can go for an unlimited amount of time, which I think for me is really great because you're not tied to a specific direction duration of row. So if you don't want to do an exactly 10 minute row or 20 minute row or 30 minute row, and maybe you want to go for 22 minutes or 58 minutes, you are free to do that without being like feeling like you're cutting something short or extending something, or it, you just have more flexibility and freedom. So that I am really happy to report as the number one update since last year. There is finally a pause button. This is the one thing that I just did not understand with these at home workout machines. Like, the two machines behind me were both guilty of this. I feel like if you're spending several thousand dollars for a piece of at-home workout equipment, you should get the convenience of working out at home. And Hydro has finally answered the call to add a pause button. I feel like it should have happened earlier, but I'm glad that it exists now. So the next thing is in particular to a criticism I had in my initial Hydro video, which was this. When it comes to floor classes, the selection of classes available is relatively limited. It's about 10% it's about of the total class libraries. I am happy to report that since my, that initial video, they have pretty significant significantly increased the size of the library. And so when I did my initial video, they had about 2,2400 2, classes total. Now they, that has gone up to 37, 3,800. So it's been over a 50% increase in the number of classes since my initial video. Also in my original review, it was about 10% of overall hydro classes were floor classes and the rest were all rowing classes. And obviously it's a rowing machine. It makes sense that there were mostly rowing classes, but they have actually increased the percentage of floor classes to closer to 20%. I think exactly it's around 18% of total classes right now. And I'm really glad that they did make that change over the past year because especially if you spend so much money on an at-home piece of equipment, I feel like you want to be able to use it for as many things as possible. Like you don't want just a one hit wonder. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. The next set of updates, to be honest, I don't really care about that much, but I am going to just point it out because different strokes for different folks. You know, the thing I want to talk about is there have been a lot of app updates since last year. So there's basically some new features where you can like invite your friends to specific rows. There's new features where you can better track your workout history, stuff like that. I don't really care about rowing with my friends or tracking my history and stuff like that, but I do want to point it out in case tracking your metrics or rowing with friends is something that's important to you. They do have a handful of those type of smaller app updates that now exist. That being said, there are still some negatives of the Hydro. Basically any negative that I talked about in my original video that I did not talk about again here, I still believe that is a negative. Like for example, it's, it's still kind of hard to find classes that I'm looking for. There's not really any search bar. I feel like the search functionality could still be improved. Plus, obviously the volume of classes is still less than some of the competitors. So I don't think this machine is perfect. There are some other negatives. So definitely watch my original Hydro review and you can get a better sense of all of the details of the things I liked and I didn't like. But hopefully this was helpful just to give you a little bit better sense of what has changed in the past year. So would I still recommend the Hydro a year later? The short answer is yes, I would. I still use the Hydro and I would still recommend it. But I think the biggest thing you're gonna wanna think about is, is rowing for you? Is this the workout that you want to invest in? Because this is an expensive piece of equipment and even though they have expanded the library of other classes, over 80% of the classes are still rowing classes. 
classes. So if you're kind of on the fence about rowing as a workout, I would just recommend go to the gym, see if you can just try out a rowing machine. It's not gonna be as good as the Hydro. The Hydro has a giant screen, has live classes, has the integration with music and instructors, all that stuff. But at least you will get a sense of if rowing is something that you like, if it's a workout that you could see yourself doing frequently. And if it is, then I think this is a really great piece of equipment to invest in. Again, I do have my affiliate link if you do wanna save some money, but if this is not the right machine for you, I completely understand. I've also done other fitness reviews of the Peloton as well as the Jack's Jocks for more strength. So check that out if you want to see some comparisons of what else is out there in the market. And until next time, bye.